Well, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. We're out now outside of the hangar, and what a great sight it is. A thrilling one. It's a marvelous sight. It's coming down out of the sky, pointed directly towards us and toward the mooring mass. The mighty diesel motors just roared, the propellers biting into the air and throwing it back into a gale-like whirlpool. No wonder this great floating palace can travel through the air at such a speed with these powerful motors behind it. The sun is striking the windows of the observation deck on the eastward side and sparkling like gl glittering jewels on a background of black velvet. And every now and then the propellers are caught in the rays of the sun and their highly polished surfaces reflect circles of gold. Now a field that we thought active when we first arrived has turned into a moving mass of cooperative action. The landing crews have rushed to the post, posts and spots and orders are being passed along and last minute preparations are being completed for the moment we have waited for so long. The ship is riding majestically toward us like some great feather, riding as though it was mighty, good, mighty proud of the place it's playing in the world's aviation. The sh ship is no doubt bustling Wait with activities we can see. Orders are shouted to the crew. The passengers are probably lining the windows looking down at the field ahead of them, the getting now. their glimpse of the mooring mass. And these giant flagships standing here, the American Airlines flagships, waiting to rush into all points in the United States when they get the ship moored. There are a number of important persons that's on board. And no doubt the new commander, Captain Max Frisch, is thrilled too for this is his great moment, the first time he's commanded the Hindenburg. For on previous flights, he acted as the chief officer under Captain Lehman. It's practically standing still now. They've dropped ropes out of the nose of the ship and uh, has been taken a hold of down on the field by a number of men. It's starting to rain again. It, the rain had uh, slacked up a little bit. The back motors of the ship are just holding it... Uh, just enough to keep it from... It bursts into flame! It bursts into flame and it's falling! It's crashing! Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get it, Charlie! Get it, Charlie! It's flying and it's crashing! It's crashing terrible! Oh, my! Get out of the way, please! It's burning and bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning fast and all the folks between it. This is terrible! This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world! Oh, it's... it's, 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 it's place is 20... Oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. It, it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now, and the flame is crashing to the ground, not quite to the mooring mast. All the humanity and all the fans are just screaming around it. I don't do it. I can't even talk to people. His friends are out there. It's a, it's, it's a, oh. I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. Honest, it's just like they're a mass of smoking wreckage. And everybody can hardly breathe and talk and scream. Lady, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I, I can hardly breathe. I, I'm going to step inside where I cannot see it. <laughs> Charlie, that's terrible. <laughs> I, 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 listen, folks, I, I'm going to have to stop for a minute because I've lost the voice. This is the worst thing I've ever witnessed.